My name is Monica Sudikov, and I am an asparagusaholic. It's been three days since my last stock. This time of the year makes me insane. Just ask my buddies over at Coneflower. The second she sends me a message that she has fresh asparagus, I'm like a complete fiend, like Jones in for asparagus. Absolutely love it. And look how cool this is. They come in two colors, purple and green. Isn't that fun? Purple's my favorite color. The sad thing is when you cook it, it doesn't stay purple, it turns green. Oh well. Anyhow, welcome to Chef Monica's Kitchen. We're making roasted asparagus today. There are many, 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 many ways to utilize asparagus. I'm just gonna show you my favorite way to use it, which is as a side dish. Roasting it, perfect way to do it so it doesn't get stringy. You know that weird kind of stringy texture that if you've ever had canned asparagus, which I don't recommend. Um, it takes natural sugars in the asparagus and it caramelizes them makes it really delicious, nutty, and it gives it a really nice crunchy texture um, so it doesn't lose all of its integrity because we really don't want to mess with what nature gave us this perfection. So first things first, you want to make sure you have fresh asparagus. Obviously I do. Um, and then you want to take it and snap the asparagus where it naturally will snap, um, which usually will take off that kind of stemmy woody end that doesn't cook very well. Um, we'll do that with this one as well. They may not snap at the same length so I don't necessarily re recommend cutting one off and then using that as a guide for all the rest of them um, because it may not match so to season this super easy um, I like to use sesame oil you can also use just olive oil but sesame oil will accentuate the nuttiness that you're going to get from the roasting process so we're going to just season these liberally with a little bit of sesame oil and then a bit of garlic powder you could also use nutmeg if you want but I'm going to use garlic powder today pinch of salt, fresh cracked pepper, those of course are in every recipe, a little bit of balsamic vinegar. This is reduced vinegar, so it's a little thicker than normal, but the balsamic will sort of coat the asparagus and it'll make them that sweet with the nutty, it's maize balls. And then a little Parmesan cheese which will also sort of melt onto and adhere with that balsamic. We're just gonna just toss this a little bit to coat it. Notice I didn't stick my hands in there because I don't necessarily want to get them all grimy. But you can coat them pretty well by just shaking them around. These will go into a 375 degree oven for approximately five to seven minutes. So it's really contingent on your oven. Um, I know we've been having some issues with um, people saying that their recipes are not turning out exactly the same in terms of timing as mine. I have a gas oven and I know it's not calibrated exactly to temperature. So you just have to be mindful of whether you have gas or electric and you know your oven best. So check things before you think they're going to be done. Um, that way you avoid burning anything. So we'll pop these in the oven and when they're done, I'll show you what they look like. Hey guys. So the asparagus has been roasting, just came out of the oven, and actually a couple of the purple ones still stayed slightly purple. They're kind of maybe brown, but they didn't change colors like they usually do quite so much, which is awesome. You can see they're cooked through, um, but they're not like mushy, which is fantastic. I'm gonna try and eat one without burning myself, but that's one of the purple ones. I can smell the sesame oil, the Parmesan, and the balsamic, it's like, asparagus crack. Oh my god. Look at the inside. Can't see it in the camera. I don't care. I'm just eating it. <laughs> Bye. Bye.